So I think that after a month or more of some issues persisting within Vanguard or Warzone, we're all just waiting in hopes that we'll get some of these things cleared up. Today with the first scheduled update day of the year that we normally see, that being Thursdays, and with people coming back from holiday break, there was an air of optimism that maybe today would be that day. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite the day we were hoping for. Updates did happen in the last 24 hours, yes, but they weren't the title updates or major updates that we were anticipating. Today, we're breaking down what we learned today, what changed, the mid-season updates arrival that was announced, and other bits of intel that you should be aware of, and what changed in the last 24 to 48 hours of Call of Duty. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. When do you think we'll see these changes that we're hoping for, these big ones? This weekend? Not until the mid-season update? Maybe even after that? Whatever, drop your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video, and if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to stay today with all things Van. Vanguard, Warzone, and even in the maybe near future, Modern Warfare 2 content. We're on the road to half a million subscribers in 2022, so if you're part of that nearly 7% of viewers who are not subscribed, I'd love to have you in the community. That said, let's jump into it. Let's start out with what happened today on our standard scheduled update day. For Vanguard, we saw the introduction and changeover of some playlists. What we have on offer this week is Pacific Party. This is your respawn modes on all pacings in the Pacific themed maps. Tiny Tactical, which is tactical modes and pacings on all your small maps. Shiphouse 24-7 is back here. That's great for camo grinders. And I'm sorry to anybody that I run into. I'm down to my shotguns, snipers, and melees for completing challenges. So I am 100% sorry for the toxic nature that you may encounter if you run across me. I've put them off long enough in an effort to not be that guy, but Atomic, or rather catching up for Atomic when it's finally fixed, is finally yelling at me to get them done. So that's something that I'm going to be in all week here, but very excited to see that come back. Carnage is back as well. That's hardcore playlist featuring hardcore game mode variants. There's no HUD and limited health, so this one's not too far out of the ordinary. And then we have Champion Hill duos and trios. Now, unfortunately, that's literally all that changed for Vanguard today. We're still awaiting some of the information that they mentioned as of earlier in the week, where they reemerged from that vacation holiday break, talking about some of the things that were upcoming. For Refresher, they said that changes to help with the completion of the Panzerfaust challenges were coming, perk adjustments to help counter all things fire were coming, weapon balancing paths specifically for snipers and shotguns, those were coming as well. Maybe with other things mixed in there as well, touching on even more weaponry, since we haven't really seen any major sweeping weapons paths to basically all weapons. We've kind of had the same weapon balance for a majority of the weapons since launch. I don't know if that's a good thing in regards to complementing the balance of the game at the time of its shipping, or if it's just something that we haven't quite gotten a handle on what actually is balanced yet. We'll have to wait and see. But also they mentioned that a tweak to the mortar barrage to reduce their duration is also coming as well. Something that again, I've expressed my excitement in in the past just because mortars, man, those are so dang annoying and hardcore whenever you're trying to go for camos especially when you get spawn on them. Now, that was all that they mentioned. I'm very much so hoping that we see something happen with the incendiary grenades as well. If you follow me over on Twitter, honestly, I think I'm to the point where incendiary grenades might be my least favorite thing ever added in a Call of Duty, or at least in terms of equipment, because there are a lot of things in COD history that are just like, why? Why was this added? The incendiary grenade is definitely in that list, if you ask me, but they also mentioned in those statements that we can expect more frequent updates now that the break is over, and with more to come stated as this week. But that was on Monday, so we're running out of time here for this week. So what that means for when this will happen, whether communication or for an actual update, we just don't know. Fingers crossed that soon, I mean, we're quite literally a month into season one as of this weekend and two months into the game at this point where we still have some things that needed to be fixed. Now, additionally, not from Sledgehammer though, but dealing with Vanguard, Treyarch actually gave us our first confirmation here of this, but we know the mid-season update goes live next week at some time. My guess, likely the 13th, or rather 12th into the 13th overnight, as we see those updates usually happening, but Treyarch tweeted, we hope everyone had a safe and restful holiday break. Our mid-season Vanguard Zombies update drops on Tuesday, and with January 15th coming up next Saturday, we'd figured we'd post our 115 day blog a bit earlier than usual this year, with all the details. Stay tuned next week. Now, that in and of itself for zombies, I'm very much so hopeful that we get something of substance here with this. I know that zombies has been incredibly bare bones since launch, and that side of the community is entirely neglected when it comes to content or updates overall. If I'm not mistaken, there still isn't a zombies pause feature, which is like basic stuff, if you ask me. But the bigger takeaway here, not just for the zombies content and changes coming and the zombies community, is that we do have the mid-season update coming sometime as of next week. Again, likely on the 12th into the 13th, if I were to guess, if that's something that all the content then comes for Warzone and Vanguard. But 
that's something that we finally now have a little bit of confirmation on that. It was a very big question mark for a long time. We're now past the midpoint of the season, so it's kind of a weird situation at the moment. But anyways, that's what we have here for Vanguard. Now transitioning over into Warzone, we again saw a little bit of changes here happen today, but in the last 24 hours, there were some things that were changed that you should know of, and they did acknowledge some other things coming. For the playlist update, they ended up adding Vanguard Resurgence Quads, Plunder Duos, and Rebirth Resurgence Trios, while we're removing Vanguard Royale quads, Vanguard Resurgence duos, Plunder trios, and Rebirth Resurgence quads. They also kept in the mix though Vanguard Royale, solos, duos, and trios, and Battle Royale quads. Now, honestly, I don't get why we don't just keep Rebirth Resurgence trios and quads at all times, at least, let alone just letting people be able to choose solos, duos, trios, or quads for anything, but that's just me. I guess that's why I don't make the big bucks here and make those big decisions. But that was the playlist update here that Raven added for Warzone. But they also did end up fixing a couple of things as of yesterday. Now, go into this knowing that it's not the biggest update ever by any means. And truth be told, it's very small, but it did fix some things that were definitely persisting. In terms of gameplay adjustments, in the Vanguard related modes, the Fire Sale public event will now last the entire duration of the respective circle that it starts with. That was something that was fixed, but not fixed. Whatever Vanguard modes have had this happen here it was something that they recently changed it so that it was on a timer that didn't go the duration of the entire circle but even after that timer says that it was gone the fire sale event you could still go to a buy station and get those discounted items so it still kind of lasted the entire circle but now that timer will accurately reflect that it does actually last the entire circle they also fixed an issue with collision and various elements across caldera fixed an issue with loadout drops spawning at the exact same xy coordinates and also the biggest one they fixed an issue which caused the Awoken Francis Operator skin to appear invisible beyond a certain distance, which was, I think, like 30 meters here at that. So that in and of itself is a big change. There's still plenty to do, but that's a nice step in the right direction here for that, not having a pay-to-win skin in that regard, and I'm cool with that. Now, they also mentioned that they were going to end up taking a look at the Double Barrel Akimbo as of, I think, last night or so. They mentioned that there was going to be a balancing pass for that. Whether or not that's a part of a larger weapon balancing pass coming in the near future, that's possible because I don't think we've seen anything in terms of major weapon tuning outside of a few weapons for all Vanguard weaponry. So it is possible that we do see that happen. But the double barrel akimbo, if you're playing close quarters, you're not going to beat it. So definitely nice to see that having some adjustments. I would absolutely classify that as OP. But then the final thing I want to touch on is that there is a new event on the Trello board detailed as to be determined. What this means, what it looks towards, we don't quite know. It might be setting up some of the foundational work for what we see maybe next week with the mid-season update. Maybe there's a new event here that happens with new challenges and all, but right now, that's what we have here. So that's the update across Vanguard and Warzone. So that's where we're at, and hopefully we see some more stuff of larger caliber updates coming in the near future. So that's where we're going to wrap it up. Let me know your thoughts down below. Personally, I'm getting a little bit frustrated here. I think that after a month, two months for some issues, we should definitely start to see these changes coming soon. And the longer and longer they take, the less patience I'm having personally. Let me know how you feel down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on the video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Vanguard, Warzone, and again, potentially in the future here, Modern Warfare 2 content if the COD gods end up giving us that here later on in the year. But that said, thanks so much for watching. Modest I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.